Hi, it's Diane again at Capadia Designs, and I promised you I would show you how I go about putting uh, snowflakes into circles and making that a shape that can be adjusted to whatever size you want. So here's a preview of what this looks like when you do it, and here's a picture. It's, that's this snowflake right here. So let's go back to our working page. I'm just going to take this um, snowflake and move it out of the way. Control L to clear my preview. And what you do is you start out with any silhouetted circle. George has one, Plant and School Book has one. Um, they are different depending on the uh, particular cartridge, how thin the line is. I happen to like the one on George because it's fairly thin. But just look around on your cartridges and you probably have a cartridge that has one. To make things easy to see, I used a 3 inch circle here. You can start with any size, but you want to start with a, a decent size because the whole point of doing this is to make it so you can adjust it and you can certainly make it smaller once you have made the file. Now that I have my uh, circle on the mat, I'm going to go ahead to Winter Woodland to the uh, key for the snowflake and click on that. Now you notice when I left that slider bar at 3, my snowflake is too small to work in my circle. So what we want to do is delete that and then just click on the mat so your circle is no longer selected and play around with the size a little bit. Three inches wasn't big enough. Let's go up an inch. Try four inches and then while it's loose like this you can just bring it over and see. Four inches is not quite, maybe just barely going to fit. So let's get rid of that and just go up mm, an eighth of an inch, just a little touch so that we have a circle that should fit and then we can click off the mat and just see if that works. Okay, now we know what size we want to use, so we're going to get rid of that snowflake, which was in its own box, and go back and click on the circle so it's selected. And then while it's selected, we've changed from a 3 inch default size to the 4 and 1 eighth that we know is going to work. Go ahead and add your snowflake. It comes in high, that's all right. They come in funny, just depending on what you're working with. But you just use your nudge arrows and bring it down doing this in real time so hopefully we'll catch up in time. I may stop in a second. Okay that's about centered so now I'm going to nudge over and since this is slow I'm just going to pause and do it while you're not watching. Okay I just kept pushing the nudge button. I'm almost there. Here you see my snowflake coming into position. If you look very carefully you see there's a tiny little plus sign and we're just trying to center that so I want to nudge up a click or two. That actually looks pretty good. So now we just check weld because we want these things to be welded together. And if you go over to a clean page to preview and click the eyeball, you'll see that you've got your snowflake welded in your circle. So obviously we could have just taken a circle, taken a snowflake, checked weld on both of them and put them together. The reason we um, prefer to do it this way is that now that I have this all in one box, I can copy and paste it and I'll have another one and I can make it smaller. I can paste another one and make it bigger. So once you do the work once you'll be able to play around and uh, make as many snowflakes as you like. So even though Design Studio doesn't have a group feature technically you can make a lot of group designs if you just figure out your sizes ahead of time and know all the, the sizes you need to select on the slider bar. You can't do it by adjusting individual shapes because that will make you um, lose the single box that goes around everything. Let's just go ahead and preview those various size snowflakes so you can see. The more welds you have the more it takes. But see we have all different sizes with one little design uh, job. We now can make all different sizes of snowflakes and Obviously you can take pretty much any snowflake you have and put it inside a circle. And they're kind of pretty. They look like snowballs to me with the detail of the flake inside. I hope that quick little explanation helped and um, you can do the same thing with many many shapes. As long as you figure out all your sizes in advance you can make quite complicated group designs. I've done it and you can look back on my blog and see some of those. So thanks for watching and I will try to get back with another video. I know I've promised one about height selected contours, so that'll be next. Thanks for watching and you can always leave me a comment or a question on my blog if you have any difficulty with this. Bye!